Good morning. I'm Janie Parrish. I'm with the Wadsworth Area Chamber of Commerce. And today we're zooming into business with my friend DJ Santiago, who works with Oswald Company. So good morning, DJ. Good morning, Janie. Great to, great to always see you. I love to start my day talking to you. You're, oh, you're so you're cute. Like, but it looks like you're in New York City. Yeah, you know, I have to find fancy ways to uh, cover up the the mess behind me so oh yeah <laughs> that's, that's uh it's a fancy way to do well it. first i want to talk about oswald but i do want to talk about you too because you're you're one interesting guy so tell us about oswald companies yeah i think um you know oswald is is a pretty unique uh company here in cleveland you know we're 128 years old which which is kind of hard to believe that we have a 128 year old business um, that I know, I mean, I'm born, raised in Cleveland, um, and, and didn't know that about Oswald. So 128 years, you know, we, we've been through some, some tough times. And you think about all the things that have happened in American history in the last 128 years, including this pandemic to survive that and thrive and continue to win, continue to grow. Um, we're also the fifth largest, uh, independently owned brokerage firm in the country, um, which is pretty, pretty awesome. out there and, and the work that we've done over the last 128 years to accomplish that makes us um, re really a cool place to be is uh, the fact that we've got a full-fledged uh, insurance brokerage house, right? So we can help uh, owners and, and those who run companies with 401k management, employee benefits, um, business liability or property and casualties, we like to call it, and then also life insurance uh, and estate planning. So um, you know, a lot of cool, interesting things uh, that go on there at Oswald. Okay, so when I um, spend time with you and Oswald, your uh, your office is in Medina. Correct. We're located right there uh, on Foot Road. Uh, we were formerly um, the, the 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 firm known as, as Hoff, the Hoffman Group. Uh, we acquired them some years back, uh, but a lot of those folks came with us, um, and so we spend a lot of time in Medina. The Medina office is. Uh, growing like crazy, a lot of a lot of exciting things uh, going on in the Medina office as well. Good deal. So, other than being 128 years old, which is an accomplishment in and of itself, what is so unique about Oswald? Great question. I, I really think three things. Um, you know, we're we're an employee-owned firm, so all 400 employees that we have have a stake in our firm progressing forward. Um, and, and that really gives us a, a sense of team uh, and commitment and accountability that you don't find at some of the you know, other firms that we compete against. Um, it also allows us to do unique things very, very quickly, whether it's our commitment to community or you know, diversity and inclusion or empowering women or, or doing some really unique creative things. You know, we have a, a couple of meetings and we make a decision and we move forward. It's not this long drawn out process, which helps us, you know, still can, you know, be able to compete against the big boys, but move quicker than typical competition. We're also a, a very active broker, right? We, we come across a lot of people that we talk to in the community and they see their, their relationship manager maybe once a year, right before renewal. Um, you know, the way we kind of handle those relationships is we make sure that we at least touch each client uh, four times a year, whether in a virtual environment or in person. And we're talking about new laws that are passing, new things that may be available to them. Um, you know, we look at that, that, that renewal as early as possible and say, hey, here, here are some of the options here, are what some people in your community are doing, you know, which way would you like us to go? And then the last part is just buying the insurance, which is really the easiest part of, of the process. So I really, I really feel passionate about the fact that we're very active um, and we're not passive. And, you know, we also help companies grow, right? So 128 years old in Cleveland, Ohio, with, with offices, you know, from Medina all the way down to Cincinnati, um, we've got a lot of unique relationships that we like to help our clients uh, with when they need it, right? So whether it's saving money on energy, whether it's, hey, I need the best accountant in town, or hey, I need three names that can help me with this. Uh, we really help promote their business with our own sales team, but also connect them uh, with anybody else who might be able to help them with some solutions that they might need. So at the end of the day, when you leave the office, what are you thinking about that you love what you do? Why, why is that that you love what you do? 
Yeah, well, you know, you and I have spent some time together. You know that uh, before I came to Oswald, I was a baseball coach for 15 years. And, um, you know, I always tell people coaching isn't what I do. It's who I am. It's, it's, it's what I'm naturally, quote unquote, gifted at. I, I really, really am passionate about it. And so this is just a different type of coaching, right? I mean, at the end of the day, we're coaching, whether it's a, a CFO, an HR director, a business owner who's just trying to put food on the table and maybe leave a legacy on how to win the game, per se, against carrier partners, right? So the carriers are going to try things, they're going to do things, um, and they're out, they're out to make a buck, sometimes unfairly. Uh, it's our job to make sure that we handle that relationship, that we negotiate with them, and that we provide those, those types of uh, conversations in a proactive way. And then, you know, when I think about coaching, why did I love coaching and why do I love coaching? Well, it's real simple. You know, I love the, the strategy, right? So I'm still able to have those strategy conversations on what we can do, what our options are, how we should do this, how we should tackle it. Um, and then the impact, you know, my specific focus is employee benefits. Well, what other part of the business does every employee take home with them every day besides the employee benefits? I mean, you think about the impact that to them and their wives and their husbands and their kids. Every single hour of every single day. So I still get to fulfill the bucket of strategy and community impact, which is which is awesome, which is why I love what I do. Very cool. Now, DJ, how can people find you at Oswald? The easiest way uh, is is uh, just to dial me up or text me. Area code 216-200-8958 uh, is my direct dial. Or you can shoot me an email, D Santiago at Oswald Companies. That's S-A-N-T-I-A-G-O at OswaldCompanies.com. Those would be the two easiest ways uh, to get a hold of me. And, and we'd love to find out how we can help you. If we can help you, we'll definitely make every effort to do so uh, in a very passive, but also, um, you know, easy way to, to make sure that we have those conversations in a non-aggressive manner. So we're just looking to help people. Well, DJ, it was my lucky day when you called me and said, hey, can you stop at, at the Medina office? And I did. And right away, uh, I had a great connection with you. So I appreciate you and all that you do. So uh, we're going to see you at Oswald. Awesome. awesome. Looking forward to meeting some more uh, members of your, of your chamber. And, uh, and, and we'll talk again. Okay. Thank you, DJ. Good morning, I'm Janie Parrish with the Wadsworth Area Chamber of Commerce. And today we're zooming into business with Kevin B. Miller. And that's not B period Miller, it is B Miller, all one word. I wanted to make sure we said that correctly. Yeah, and good morning, Kevin. Good morning to you, Janie. Thank you for having me and uh, you know, excited to be a part of this Wadsworth Chamber and just look forward to what it can bring, so. Oh, good. Well, Kevin is the vice president or the direct, the vice president of the director of logistics. How did I do on that one, Kevin? All good. I hold a lot of titles here. So. Okay, good. And with Revolution Trucking, and you're located right down the street from the Wadsworth Chamber, so right at the bottom of the Main Street Hill. That is correct. Actually, in the old, across from the old match factory. Oh boy. So that used to be called the injector. Correct. Yeah. Okay. Well, tell us what does Revolution Trucking do? Perfect. So Revolution Trucking was started approximately a little over two years ago, uh, which is a great thing. We started out in, in Seville and we bring we bring over a hundred years of logistics and transportation experience from you know our our leaders, myself and, and everybody else included. Uh, we are, we actually have three business units I like to talk about. So we are Revolution Trucking is our main stake, which we have our own trucks. We run truckload, but we also have Revolution Transport, which is what we call in our world a freight brokerage. It's a 3PO, which is a third party logistics where we're with everybody. You know, I'll mention something, you know, somebody like Roar is another great Wadsworth recognized company. Yes. Uh, there's, there's somebody that do not have their own trucks, so they require outsourced trucking and they come to people like us and Roar's unique too, because they actually have, you know, multiple locations across the United States and into Mexico. So it's a great way that we provide transportation management for them and, and help all of the locations kind of come into one 
and we work with their Wadsworth, you know, main headquarters right there. Uh, the last part is the revolution supply chain. So the piece with that is I'm kind of a tech person and enjoy that world. We do a lot of IT asset management where you have hospitals that have data servers. Pretty much, you know, we, we ship, we move, we truck, and that's, that's, that's what it is, you know, and it's from small to large, you know, we, we help friends and family out with parcel, we, and to anything, you know, to overseas by ship, by plane, uh, equipment moves and just things like that. It's exciting. You know, it's not something that I started as, you know, but the unique thing and why I mentioned it with the Wadsworth chamber is I'm a Wadsworth graduate. Another partner is we have, we're pretty much 95% Wadsworth. And that was the cool thing about, you know, we just uh, got this new space. We actually moved in about three weeks ago. Uh, we took some time to renovate it and make it more modern, uh, get it to where we need it to be. And uh, yeah, we're just excited to be here and, uh, you know, be a part of, the city as well so now um tell us why you love what you do kevin definitely so you know work life balance is something that i i believe for myself and i believe for the whole team as well uh you know to get everybody to enjoy what they're doing you know you got to respect you know what they do in their own time and I, and I think that's huge because we've all worked maybe we have you know a lot of us have worked in places that you know they don't feel the same about you know employees livelihood and their you know their outside thoughts and mental health and way more than just the day-to-day -day operations you know we look at i look at people that we bring on i look at my leadership team i look at everything to treat others and you know that's why we like to come to work we love to come to work you know and that's something is that's what excites me the most is seeing other people you know get to that and then ultimately building relationships with our customers and you know giving them a lot of these you know to get into my world a lot of these shipments are time critical shipments okay. so we legit we actually make people's day you know it's something hey we picked up on time we made it safely and we delivered on time so it's it's rewarding in that essence too which is really cool and you know it's just and we're i'm excited i love to see the opportunity for growth too you know it's like i say in a little over two years it's it has been uh very exciting growth let's just say that you know we're not always satisfied but you know at the same time we have big goals and uh even through the pandemic you know i i'm i might as well mention that a little bit too you know we after a year a year of this you know truck drivers transportation keeping manufacturing alive keeping products on the shelves at grocery stores keeping products you know stocked in hospitals other very time critical pieces, even all the way down to the vaccine. You know, we've had truckloads of those that it shows the importance of that simple truck that you see on the highway and road when you're driving, <laughs> like that one truckload could be carrying what you need or what I need and it needs to get there on time and safely. So it's, it's been a testament to the drivers for staying safe, you know, taking on protocols and then at the same time, our team, you know, everybody went remote. Uh, we had a, we, we have a unique office set up. We're able to be spread apart nicely. Uh, we actually did socially distance and stay together. We did not go hundred percent remote. We did have some remote workers um, as far as like business development and sales and some teams that I have elsewhere, you know, but as far as a core group, we came together each day and, and continued to plow through it. I mean, there were some challenges, but, Ultimately, I believe we're coming out on the other side and, and we've been successful at that. So I think that's that's exciting to see. And, and, and I know it's been a challenge for a lot of people in a lot of industries. And uh, it just shows the power that, you know, if, if trucks don't move, people don't get what they need. So it's it's almost as simple as that. So. Wow. Now, um, if I think a lot of times, especially with the pandemic, you lose sight of all of the um, essential businesses that are out there. And so it's good to have a refresher course on trucking because you, you don't think about it. You know, I mean, most people don't, you think about it all the time, Kevin, but I'm, I'm serious, you know, you pass a truck on a highway and you don't realize what's behind them, you know, what they're carrying and, and uh, where they're going and the importance of it. So it's a good refresher course for all of us. But I did want to ask, why did you choose to move your business to Wadsworth? You know, it's, that's, that's a good question. Like I mentioned, we came from Seville prior and, you know, being Wadsworth, you know, born and bred, so to say, like I have something, not just myself, but some other leaders that I wanted, 
the value of our company to be in, in our city, you know, to be, we, we like Wadsworth's vision. We like the leaders in Wadsworth. We respect them. We have good relationships with them. And, you know, we just wanted to bring that next call to small business, call to big business, whatever it might be. We just wanted to show that we can provide some value in, in jobs as well uh, to the Wadsworth community. And I think that's a big, you know, it's a big focus as we grow to, you know, to give back and, uh, you know, if we're 10 miles away, why not be right here? So we kind of made that and, and Seville worked out for all of us at first, you know, it was a great facility. And then it just, we, as we expanded, uh, we needed a little extra space and places to park our trucks and it's just been, been great here so far. So. And, uh, how many people do you employ? Okay. So in here on a day-to-day -day basis is about 10 and, and that's your full-time staff. But then as far as business development goes outside, uh, I, I actually like them not to be here. So we have Denver location. We have a Florida location. We actually have a Cleveland location that works out of the Dominican Republic, <laughs> which is funny wow. because they, they have a great setup that Chris, the guy that works here, you know, he, he takes the team down there and, and they're super grateful for it. You know, they can work remote. Uh, they speak very good English, which is always important, but they also speak Spanish. So it's a little bit that I leverage, you know, that way, if there is ever that bilingual need, um, because those, those are for our mass outreach. You know, when I say business development, it's about reaching new, new targets, new prospects, and that takes work. You know, it takes multiple calls. It takes multiple touches, emails, finding the right person. And it, for me, I, I know that, you know, I believe that that's the essence of continuing to grow I, i'm you'll hear me use the word in this world pipeline a lot a lot of people in different businesses it's you know pipeline having a full is, is your network of people that you can continuously work to can bring on new customers because if we just stay with our current customer base it's great you know but then we flatline and it's we stay at the success that we're at right now and we all have you know some bigger overarching goals to uh you know grow provide our customers with the best possible solution and then give our employees the chance to grow and then ultimately grow in in Wadsworth and, you know, expand and and offer jobs. And that's why I like to mention that we do employ people from Wadsworth. We have some from elsewhere, but, you know, it's it's a strong uh, resume check mark. If you come from Wadsworth here, it's just it's it's a good relationship thing. So, oh, Kevin, how can people find you? Sure. So I, I'm also somebody that believes in a good presence. I mean, we have our, our main, like I mentioned with revolution trucking is why we're, we're in the, the chamber with this name. That is our website. So it's www.revolutiontrucking.com. And then also on Facebook at revolution trucking, uh, LinkedIn is another, you know, big platform for business, uh, exposure, uh, business promotions. Uh, so we are on LinkedIn as well with revolution trucking and then personally, uh, myself, and then also, you know, there are little pieces and parts that you know we we advertise through it but mainly the the social media sites the website obviously the great link through the wadsworth chamber so you can click on us that way uh and even with with jobs and such you know there's a tab on our website as well uh, i just click on it and it's jobs it comes directly to a jobs email so if you are curious at all about you know logistics career like i always say this is an industry that you know, knock on wood, I believe is not going anywhere. You know, trucks have to move. It's something they really can't automate. I mean, Amazon tries, but you know, it's, that's a long ways down the road. And, you know, I, I'm always a big fan of industry that is, you know, re not recession proof, pandemic proof. Um, you know, it, it all comes with the challenges, but we're, we're excited for the growth and, you know, excited to, to reach out and be able to provide jobs and some value to the city. So it's, uh, and we look forward even more as, you know, I like how the chamber you know, throws different events out there and different things as the pandemic and things start to open back up, you know, that our presence is only, you know, short lived here, but, you know, we, we expect a larger presence on, uh, you know, giving back to youth sports is something we will definitely do. So you'll see us on, on jerseys on the, the youth football field and the youth lacrosse teams and things like that. I know Brian, another one of our partners as well is heavily involved in coaching youth football and then his kids in lacrosse. And it's just a nice way to, to give back because we're all athletes too for the most part here so we we always understand the what it felt like to have somebody's name on our jersey and we, we like it so those are the little small yeah. little small things so
Oh, those are pretty big things, truly. And um, I just wanted to let you know, Kevin B. Miller from uh, Revolution Trucking, that uh, should you need somebody to go to the Dominican Republic, just, you know, on the fly, I'm your girl. There you go. Uh, oh, well, thank you so much. This was extremely interesting. I love your passion for this. And uh, thank you for all that you do. Thank you very much for having me. Absolutely.